Thanks for clicking on expertphototips.com online tutorials. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a product. It is a Photoshop plug-in filter. Um, it's by topazlabs.com. We're going to be seeing what kind of results we can get with this uh, fairly simple um, Photoshop filter. Now what I've done is I've went on to topazlabs.com and I've downloaded the uh, the trial version. Um, there are different prices for different filters that they have. I've installed pretty much every one they have. Um, they range anywhere between 50 to 75 bucks uh, per filter. That might be a little expensive for a lot of people out there. It, I didn't uh, pay for it. I downloaded the trial. I'm still deciding. But uh, we're going to see what some of these filters can do. Here's a uh, Here's a picture from South America. I believe it is, um, I believe it is Argentina. It has a great sky, great color, um, but yet it's just a little flat. Uh, let's see what we can do with one of these Topaz filters. I'm going to use their adjust filter. All right. Now you notice here we have uh, many presets for the topaz filter. Uh, one of my favorite is uh, small details. Um, I'm sorry, not small details. Spiceify. Simply click OK, and I mean, look at that. Look at the color. Before and after. And, you know, I just noticed that in this photo, I. Uh, I just noticed these birds here in this tree. I mean, it almost has a little HDR look to it. The rainbow is really full of color. Um, the cliffs have a little bit more definition. Even the water here has kind of a weird, funky, kind of 3D-ish look to it. And uh, I gotta tell you. I mean, that is one heck of a filter. It would take me maybe 20 minutes in Photoshop to do here what this preset filter would do. Let's see what else I can do. Here's another photograph. I believe this is from um, Canada. Yes, it is in uh, Western Canada. And let's go ahead and add the same filter because I gotta tell you, <laughs> I absolutely love this filter. I mean, look at that. I mean, my goodness, look at that. Look at that. I mean, the look at look how misty it looks. That is amazing. I'm not I'm not promoting a product here, but I'm just saying this is an amazing filter. Look at the sky. We're going to go ahead and add another filter on top of that. It's called the um, Simplify Filter. And I'm just going to use the first one called Buzz Sim. And let's give this a second to work here. Now, I know it looks a little paint by numbers, but i got to tell you, that's, that's a printable art picture right there. Look at that. I know it's a little simple, but you gotta understand it took it's a filter, you know. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Alright, here's a zoo photograph. Uh fairly simple, not much going on. You can see it's late in the day, they're tired. And of course the photo needs something more. Now we could use the um very simple photo here to add, you know, definition. Um, but let's try something else here. Let's try another filter that Topaz has here. Let's try, here's an interesting one. It's called Psychedelic. Give it a second to load here. Now I gotta tell you, that looks like really good fake HDR to me. I mean, look at that. It almost, it almost looks cartoonish. Look at that. Alright, let's 
Let's get the deer. Let's do two more here. Let's try. Look at that. I mean, tell me that's just it gave it the pop it needed. I'll tell you what, these topaz filters are worth uh, considering. Definitely. Now, one final uh, picture here. Now, this picture obviously has a lot of noise to it. Now, in Photoshop, you can do several things to reduce the noise. Uh, one of the things I don't like doing is using the blur tool because what happens is you're going to start uh, destroying image data. You don't want to do that. But, with Topaz Labs, we can go down here into their denoise filter. And in a matter of seconds, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking my time with this photograph here, but if I took my time, I could add a little bit more sharpness and definition, but I got to tell you what, look at the difference. Look at that. That is amazing. I had to show you guys this product here because I got to tell you, it is one of the best Photoshop filters I have ever reviewed. Uh, the only problem is the price. Topaz Labs, if you're listening, please lower the price. It is almost restrictively expensive. Um, if they considered lowering it, I probably would buy it. You know, if these filters were 20 bucks a piece, I'd stock up on my library right now. So anyway, that's just a quick review of uh, Topaz filters. Um, go on to expertphototips.com, of course. That's a plug for my own. Um, and check out all our other product reviews. And uh, thanks for watching.